springs. The man before you is a champion of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. Maybe, but what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. The man has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Hello? Hey, it's you. There. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, What's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. safe. I need you to tell me what you know about him. The guy who looks like me. He... There was a, there was a party in one of the rooms. It, it was pretty wild. I am, I'm not sure which room it was in. You didn't attend? I, no, I wasn't there. But it got way out of hand. Anyway, I, I heard that he went to the diner and there was a fight there or something. Maybe you could find out more from there. I, I, I got some keys that you could maybe use. You just happen to have the keys, huh? Fine. I'll take a look. Stay here. Like hell. I'm getting out of here as soon as you leave so I can close up this place and go home. Emma, you really want to stay here in the light? Yeah, thanks for the advice, but I'm not sticking around. Just go already, okay? Are you okay? I guess. Thanks for the help. Were those the... what do you call them? The Taken? What are they? It's complicated. Short version, the darkness can take people over. That's why I had to destroy the oil derrick. Otherwise, they would have overrun the place. The scene. Traces of violence. A callous midnight snack. A room key left carelessly behind. The man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel rooms. Satellite, now this? That place might be involved. Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. Damn. Michael Farabee, dead, tortured 
dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. A slim lead, but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. Doctor, the man who looked like me, what did he want here? There's a strange astronomical event happening right now, something I can't begin to classify, but I think it's disabled our satellite. There's a very peculiar signal that we're receiving. A signal? That's what I'm here for. Well, so was he. But he didn't seem to understand it at all. He got very angry, sabotaged our imaging array, and now we're blind. I believe the event is still going on, but we can't pick it up. Is there something we can do? What he broke is essentially just a special camera, but we can't use the telescope without it. There's a replacement in my car. If you can get that to me, we're back in business. Consider it done. Hmm. Brilliant, you've got it. I'll just run a quick diagnostic on it. Yes, it's in perfect order. All right, we're good to go. Let's take a look at the skies. Automated clearance system. Some interrupted the flow. So now what? Well, you could go and open the secondary coolant flow valves now. I know it's dangerous there, but well. I got it. Are we receiving the signal now? Oh yes, it's coming in loud and clear. It's amazing. I'm not sure what it is yet, let alone where it's coming from, but it's interacting with our system somehow. Like it was intended for us. But I don't understand how that could be. Maybe that's just how the story goes. What? Never mind. Is there a way I can hear it? Or however this is supposed to work? I think the signal is incomplete somehow. But you should be getting a printout of it now. A printout of a signal. It too is a weapon created by the Champion of Light. In its words, stirs a new reality. But it is incomplete. And yet, it provides a roadmap for the man to follow, a course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. The drive-in. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here. Oh. It's you. Mmm, that's fantastic. Are you okay? Go away. No, I want you. But you'll get angry if you're here. So you gotta go. You know I'll do what you want. Lady, you got darkness on the brain. I, I think I can help you if I can get the lights on it. Don't! Oh, it's not... It's you. Did... Did you help me? Looks like you're feeling better now. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. I don't know what happened. There was... This guy. Before you say anything, I know I look like him, but I'm not. Don't worry. You just don't feel anything like he does. He was in my head. I feel like I need to take 50 showers. Where is he? That asshole wanted to get into the projector booth. He was talking about fixing things so the sun never comes up. I need to get in there. I have the access code for the door. Here. Thanks. The Champion of Light can feel the fragment of the signal in his pocket. The weapon that can change what will be. It's incomplete, but it's all he has. <laughs> You've been up to something. You. Too bad it's not gonna do any good. I'm a better you than you ever will be. And I've got all everything you've got is going to be mine. Your life. Your wife! <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? The sun's never coming up now. I can keep this up forever. 
Remember! Show yourself! Whatever you say, buddy! The rush of darkness is unstoppable. Time itself twists and tears, sweeping the champion of light back with its dark currents. Again, he enters the world, but now he sees the trap for what it is, a maze that loops back into itself. I'm, I'm here again. They sent me back. She thinks you're dead. It might as well be. I mean, even if you manage to keep surviving, you'll be in my trap forever. So I'll go to her. It'll be an amazing moment. Oh my god, you're alive! I'll be the good, loving husband for as long as I can stand it. She'll love it. I'm glad you're in such good spirits, but- The signal! Yes, it's completed! In a strange way, he feels at ease. He is armed with his own words, and when the time comes, they will be enough or they will not. For now, he's content to let the currents take him toward the final confrontation. Oh, come on, buddy. Why don't you... What? What is this? No! No! You can't do this! All I did was take the things you always wanted and never had the balls to go for! It's my turn now! It's my life! dawn. They both feel it. He's home at last. Are these actual events or merely a dream, a memory, or a glimpse of what is to come? One thing is certain. This scene takes place in another time and another place far, far away from Night Springs. No? Al? 